Right now on WUSA 9 News at 11, we're zeroing in on something a lot of our neighbors have thoughts about. Panhandling. I'm Leslie Foster. I'm Lorenzo Hall. So we've all been there, right? You're stopped at a light and someone comes up to ask you for money. Well, tonight there are some new concerns about this in Northern Virginia. County leaders spent the night trying to figure out what needs to be done. Our Katie Lesso listened in on that meeting and spoke to one of our neighbors who's been asking for money on the streets. What did you learn, Katie? Well, this was a joint conversation between both Prince William and Fairfax counties to address what they are calling a public safety issue. Dozens of people called in, the majority sharing concerns about people panhandling. They spoke of violent encounters and discussed possible ways to get it banned. But tonight, I also spoke to a man who says it's his only option. My son says, help please, jobless. I guess it represents the reality of me today. Mark asked us not to show his face, but agreed to share his why. Why he's out here. In 2018, my taxi cab was ran into. He lost his cab and eventually his job. And they wouldn't rent me a cab to come back to work. So I've been out here panhandling. Tonight, Prince William and Fairfax counties teamed up for a what should Northern Virginia be doing about panhandling town hall. Panhandler. Uh, started spitting on my car. Individuals are in every single street corner. Not even panhandling anymore at times. They're just nuisances to the community. I think panhandling has gone from a a couple people over the years now is the epidemic. Panhandling is considered freedom of speech as long as it's on public land, but Loudoun County currently has an ordinance in place. Panhandling ordinances for us, it's a uh, addresses interfering with traffic. Supervisors Janine Lawson and Pat Harity say it's a real problem in both of their counties. There's no absolutes in panhandling. It really is the range from truly in need mm -hmm. to people that just out there because they they want to be the only absolute to me is that it's a public safety issue and it's dangerous. For Mark, he says right now it's his only option. What do you want them to understand about your situation? They may get tired of seeing people thinking that it's simple to go out and get another job. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Now, both supervisors say they plan to bring up the idea of implementing a similar ordinance to the one Loudoun County has at their meetings in September. As for programs that are available, they highlighted tonight one in particular called Operation Stream Shield, and I'm going to put more information about it on WUSA9.com. Leslie? As you've just revealed, it's a pretty complicated situation. All right, thanks, Katie.